Kevin McCarthy has been ousted by the crazy contingent of his own party for, quote, working with the Dems to reach a stopgap to avert a government shutdown. Let me repeat that. They kicked out their own speaker for the crime of reaching across the aisle in order to prevent the government from collapsing. Back in my day, that was called a politician's job, right? Like, wh wh who are these people? What do they want? What are these people's goals? And these people could not be more clearly telling you who they are if they were standing in front of the Capitol building holding a Molotov cocktail and wearing a Joker mask, okay? They're a lost cause. Part of me kind of sympathizes with McCarthy a little bit because you can't reason with these people. You can't, like, you do. You could replace the whole House Freedom Caucus with a troop of howler monkeys and you'd be better able to maintain order in that chamber, all right? At least the monkeys can be placated with promises of nanners and stuff. Matt Gates will just rub shit on the banana and throw it back at your face. You can't do nothing with them, even on their own side. Like, for a long time, I used to say, say what you will about the right in America, but they stick together, right? Like, they don't care what you do. Sexual assault, theft, fraud, treason. It don't matter. As long as you got that R by your name, they'll say a prayer and vote you in, right? And that is true. But apparently, nowadays, in MAGA world, even the notion of superficial bipartisanship, well, that's a bridge too far. What's funny about that, of course, is that in order to punish McCarthy for working with the Dems, they had to, you guessed it, vote with the Dems. But hey, wouldn't be a modern-day GOP travesty without a healthy serving of oblivious irony, now would it? Because of that whole dynamic, some people tried to act like the Dems were partly to blame, like they should have done something about it. Like what? You don't look a gift horse in the mouth, man. First of all, they hated McCarthy too. He sucked at the job. He lied to everybody. Why would they save him? But also, on the eve of an election year, the opposing party walked up to them with a clown nose in one hand and a kick yourself in the nuts machine in the other and said, hey, will you help me apply this and plug that in real quick? And in that scenario, you don't say anything other than, why, yes, I will, and it must be my birthday. All right? And for anybody that looks at all this and says, God, the sheer state of American politics right now, no, no, no. No, the sheer state of one half of American politics right now. This is exclusively a them problem, okay? This is exactly what McCarthy deserves for bending over for the Looney Tunes in exchange for the job in the first place, and this is what the party at large deserves too. They spent the better part of the last decade making this bed, pissing in it. Now they're standing there looking at the rest of us like, well, I can't sleep in that. Well, tough shit, buddy. Figure it out. Love y'all. Oh. Who hey, wait, what's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back and uh, being here. I appreciate it. I'm going to put these little things up on the screen. This is my special still. Damn boy, watch that. Still riding that thing. Uh, then there's a circle to subscribe to the channel. That would hit for me. You see all these little goofy videos and my podcast and other things that I do here, which are fun. And then the most important circle to me, this is TreyCrowder.com. You go there, get tickets, come see me do stand-up live. That's what I really uh, am good at. Uh, you know, well, that's up to you to decide. But it's a fun time. Come see me. I hope I'm coming to your town. Also on TreyCrowder.com, there's a link to my new book, Around Here and Over Yonder. Either way, y'all keep watching these. I'll keep making them. I love you like chicken. Say goodbye.